Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell you what. To my dearest daughter Ashley, God love you, you're incredible. Thank you for the introduction and for being my courageous heart along with Hunter and our entire family, and especially our rock, Jill. Who, as those of you who know us, she still leaves me both breathless and speechless. Everybody knows her. I love her more than she loves me. She walks down the stairs, and I still get that going, boom, boom, boom. You all will know me. No, no, I'm kidding. Let's give a special round of applause to our First Lady, Jill Biden. My dad... My dad used to have an expression. For real, he'd say, Joey, family is the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I love you all. <laughs> Folks. And America, I love you. <laughs> Folks. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Are you ready to vote for freedom? Are you ready to vote for democracy and for America? Let me ask you, are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, President and Vice President of the United States? My fellow Democrats, my fellow Americans, nearly four years ago, in winter, on the steps of the Capitol, on a cold January day, I raised my right hand and I swore an oath to you and to God to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and to faithfully 
execute the office of the President of the United States. In front of me, in front of me was the city surrounded by the National Guard. Behind me, a capital that's two weeks before had been overrun by a violent mob. But I knew then, from the bottom of my heart, that I knew now there is no place in America for political violence. None. You cannot say you love your country only when you win. In that moment, I wasn't looking to the past. I was looking to the future. I spoke of the work at hand, the moment we had to meet. It was, as I told you then, a winter of peril and possibility. A peril and possibility. We're in the grip of a once in a century pandemic, historic joblessness, a call for racial justice long overdue, clear and present threats to our very democracy. Thank you.